What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today, we are kicking off today's leg workout with a white monster. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have pretty much one of these daily. I probably shouldn't, but I do. I enjoy it, and so, it's just what I do. That intro that you guys just saw was actually the quad biking, which was a present from my oldest sister. I couldn't record as much as I wanted to because you're not allowed GoPros or anything like that. You, you pretty much couldn't record anything, really, which was quite annoying. One thing as well which really annoys me about that is, let me know your thoughts in the comments. You can take your phone out, even in a, this applies in a gym, in a, well, anywhere, anywhere. You can take your phone out, record, Snapchat, Facebook live stream, Instagram live, absolutely anything on your phone, right? As soon as you upgrade it to said decent camera, people don't like it, whether it's a GoPro or something like that, but anyway. Right, today's gonna be a leg workout, it's gonna be a good one. Let's get started. <laughs> So there's been a lot of requests for leg day videos and today is the second leg day of my week which means I'm starting off with front squats. As you guys know I have a five day plan. Have I ever mentioned that before? Five day plan? I will be switching to the six day plan of push pull legs, push pull legs. I cannot wait to get that started. I'm just kind of waiting for the right time when I can consistently train six week, six days a week to do that. Right now, that's just not happening. Either way, whether it's this plan or the next one, whether it's push-pull legs or upper, lower, upper, lower, upper, I'm doing legs twice a week, which means I can hit the bad boys enough for them to grow. <laughs> You all know that it's been absolutely boiling here in the UK this past couple of weeks. And so this is a garage, this is this is the home gym, my home gym, but it's actually in a garage, it's not in like you know an air-conditioned room like a commercial gym. So it can get really hot in the summer and really cold in the winter, but very rare occasion, I'm gonna open the door. <laughs> emphasize when training legs in particular is whatever you do do not I repeat do not let your heels lift that's gonna shift the weight onto your tiptoes which, which means the distribution of the weight is gonna be all off you're gonna end up in your knee up or your back up or something like that as long as you keep your heels firmly planted on whatever surface you're squatting on your leg pressing on anything like that then you're pretty much gonna be sound because that means you're gonna be nice and strong nice and stable, ready to conduct the exercise properly because we're actually in this for the long run. As I always say on the channel, we actually want to do this for as long as we possibly can. You cannot do that if you injure yourself. If you go on your tippy toes, you're gonna lose all, you're just gonna yourself. I'm just gonna be brutal there. You are gonna injure yourself and not be able to go into the gym. And if you're new to the gym, in particular, you're gonna get discouraged because you're gonna lose all of that progress that you worked so hard for, whether you're newbie or advanced. Always keep your heels on the floor. A lot of people
people also ask me about the numbers for my squats and well, just my lifts in general. The best answer I can give you guys right now is I haven't got a flying monkeys. I haven't got a, I haven't got a clue. But what I can give you is the numbers from when I was at peak bulk. And that is my bench got up to 112.5, my squat got up to 160, and my overhead press got up to 90, and I wasn't deadlifting at the time. I'm gonna include it in my plan when I go back to push pull legs. But that's pretty much my lot, guys. My overhead press is my strongest lift by a long, 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 long way in, in sort of comparison to if you picture the size of your chest compared to the size of your shoulders, you should theoretically speaking be able to bench a lot more. Bench press is actually my weakest lift by a fair way. And so it kind of lets me down if on, on that, that kind of perspective. Um, but yeah, they were my numbers at peak bulk. I would say that my squat's probably gone down to 150 because I can still rep out one, 120. This is kg, by the way. All the Americans and everyone else that works in pounds, this is 120 or 160 kg, not pounds. Don't worry. And you know what? There's actually some veins coming in the calf. Right about there. You see that? You guys see that? That's not just me, is it? Come on. There we go. You guys see that, right? Come on. I think that'll do for now. On with the rest of the video. It's gonna be a good one. Haven't you heard? Come on! Bloody brilliant. Oh, Calendar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It's coming home. <laughs> and good afternoon YouTube. I hope you guys can hear me. We've got every window open because the aircon is still not working on my car, but there's nothing we can do about it. We have headed over to Leicester today. I've got some suit shopping to do, some graduation outfits. Uh, I need some shorts, some new sunglasses, all that kind of stuff. So, let's continue the video in Leicester. No, 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 no. You guys aren't meant to be back here yet. Get, get back in there and go to Leicester. In, in there. I am gonna struggle to find the suit. Yeah. I am in a weird shape. Difficult, you wanna get 28 degrees is not ideal weather for trying to take something. First suit, and I am sweat. <laughs> So if you picture this with a white shirt, for starters, one that fits me and doesn't suffocate me, also picture it with some shoes on. Then what I'm thinking is going a little bit out there with this tie. There we go. I mean, it's kind of crappy in that light, but just something a bit different. Because um, it's got this suit has got to last for weddings, graduation, everything in between and so I want something a little bit different I've had a blue suit before I've had a black suit before I've had a sort of charcoal suit before this is kind of something in between that I've not really had before so yeah I think we might have struck gold with the first one first time for everything eh? <laughs> That was uh, fairly successful. A suit for myself, a t-shirt, which makes me a full-on fitness YouTuber, 
pair of shorts, which we didn't come for, but hey, it's summer. Treat yourself. I thought the car wasn't going to start then. I was like, oh my god. We made it! Right, everybody, so that is 10 minutes. That's about right for this video. Yeah, something like that. What do you guys think about the football? I, for one, am buzzing. It's the day after. I'm still getting very excited about the football. So, let me know your predictions. Let me know your thoughts on England's chances on, well, everybody. Who do you think is going to win? Like, what's your odds? Come on. Let's get a little conversation going in the comments section. But that is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a comment down below if you have. It really helps the channel. Helps us reach more people. Helps us grow. Helps this little family get there just that little bit bigger. One more thing before I go. Did you not know? Did... did nobody tell you? It's coming home. <laughs>